Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I'm Curly Stew, and this is another episode of Gamers Theater Shadowrun Returns. Alright, so really we should be going to get runners, however, I discovered something in my extensive research of this game. Well, uh, that, that'll come second. But, the program, like in, um, basically while you're decking, you have access to a boatload of programs. Which I completely ignored because I thought that programs were like temporary and you could only use them like once or twice and I, you know what, I, I might still be wrong. I might still be right about that and they might just be a one-time purchase. However, we have all of these fancy schmancy programs, which we won't buy now because I don't want to bore you people with the details, but next time we want to deck into the Matrix we will definitely do that. However, first off... We're going to spend all of this delicious, delicious karma and become one of the best. <laughs> Alright, so we can use we can use the best marked target, we can use the best uh, cyber deck, and we're just amazing. Um, I think we're actually going to put more points into this because this, the ESP control, will make... I mean, basically how it works is, like, deckers are, like, once they're in the Matrix, they're kind of like mages. Like, they have a bunch of spells and stuff to use, and we're not going to buy any cybernetics because we don't, like, we can't, we don't have the money for it. Um, who's Mr. Delilah? Ah, here we go. If you're looking for runners again, I'm your guy. Discreet service only. Yep, and that's what we need to do. Oh, but this time we need to buy four of them. Okay, so... We don't need any deckers. Like, I'm clearly outfitting myself to be the best decker on the streets. Um... Let's see... I don't really like mages because bullets seem to be a lot more reliable than... than, than spells. Let's get a troll samurai because an elf does you know they're they're bullet spongy. Um oh we can take Shannon again. And if she's free then we're we're doing that. Oh, so I assume like if we make more friends with people then we can use them for free, which is awesome. Let's do oh yeah, physical adepts are basically like monks, so Let's take him. Alright, I think we're good. Yeah. Alright, so... As you folks may or may not remember, Dr. Holmes was the, uh... Was the guy who was in league with that other guy who was doing illicit plastic surgery, who, uh, had his face all mangled after he quote-unquote died... He probably didn't die. We're probably going to find some major plot development in the next X minutes. So, let's do that. Welcome, sir. What business brings you to Mercy Mental Hospital? <laughs> Nothing much, sir. I'm here to visit a patient. Which patient would that be? Sam Watts. I I'm sorry, I'm here to see, here to see Holmes. Okay, then. Well. So much for that. I thought it was going to be like, I'm here for Sam Watts. Bang, bang, and just have some awesome... Oh, jeez. I'm going to get admitted, aren't I? Uh, um... Yeah... Wait, just... What? Uh-huh. Okay, so... I'm not really paying it. Why, why would I look... What's in it for me to find this guy? He's just asking, Hey, can you find this guy? I'm just assuming that it's some insane ramblings, but... Hey, if it gets me further into my, uh... Objective, then that's fine. I'm looking for Dr. Holmes. I don't... I don't think you really want that. Not really. What's that supposed to mean? Around here, you don't want to attract the attention of the doctor. If you stay quiet, life is much easier. These 
people don't really seem all that crazy. Huh, okay, his name's Donnie. I know I didn't recognize you. I know everybody in this place. Who should, who should I look out for? Not on this floor, only calm... Okay, that makes sense. So these are more of the people that... They're not criminally insane. They're just... They just got something messed up. And they're just... You know... They're... I mean, they're, they're basically sane. They just have to have some help for some stuff. So they're not really crazy or anything. Is any of this making any sense to you people? I mean, probably not, but... You know... Who knows? Oh, great. And the clock stopped. If you guys want to look for some visual metaphors, there you go. Alright, well, now that we got a key, let's go looking. Oh, this is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. I don't like, I don't like hospitals. I really don't. There some two- oh, oh, fantastic. Oh, god. A severed arm, okay. The arm looks human, neatly severed at the elbow. There's a gold ring on the index finger. Well, I'm going to take the ring, because... Screamers 2048. Okay. Let's investigate the rest of this. Super, <laughs> super brawl. Um, okay. Well, I'm a decker, so let's go to the computers and see if we can't get something through there. Read the medical history. Okay. No allergies. All those. Um, PTSD... He's dead. Okay. Undocumented cyborg in his left arm. Multiple pieces of shrapnel in various locations. Complications if transplanted. Excellent. The rest of the body is in excellent condition. It can be used to improve other. S oh. Oh, so that was. Oh my god. I'm, I mean. Alright, so this is a mental hospital, right? Like. If he was injured and, like, got into a fight, he would have gone to a normal hospital. Which leads me to believe that this whole mental hospital is just a chop shop to steal stuff from people. Or, you know, it's like one of those illicit organ selling things. Well, where do we go now? I mean, we got evidence. Yeah, yeah, he'll be with us in a moment. Yeah, I bet he will. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. No, that was this guy, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm not sure how to put this. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, I should be able to get something. Like, maybe she'll help me out later on. Or, I don't know. Maybe I'll just get nothing out of this at all. But, who knows? It feels kind of good to be helping somebody out, because, you know, why not, right? Alright. Okay, well, that doesn't scream, bad guy. <laughs> the elf standing before you may quite possibly be the ugliest elf you've ever seen. Haven't I said that about somebody before? Or was it a troll? Back like at the crime scene with McCluskey. Oh my god! This was that guy! This was the elf when we first saw McCluskey. That's... Oh, oh, God. It's all full circle. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Good day to you. How can I help you? Dr. Holmes, a.k.a. Silas Forsberg. How's about we chat? I'm afraid you're confused. Silas Forsberg was a patient here who died tragically in a fire. Ooh... I've played enough RPGs to know how this turns out. We gotta be we gotta be smart with this. Let's see. It was a good racket you had going here, but you got sloppy with your kills, and now the Ripper's trail leads right to your door. The only trail I see is the one that you've left in your own wake. In fact, I believe the Ripper may be standing right in front of me. Oh, it's totally him. Totally him. And now this is going to be the case, you know, this would be the case where he's like, Haha, now I found the real Ripper, and blah 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 blah. We should be fine. It's only like one guard, right? Yeah, we're fine. Alright, I mean, I really haven't used Shannon's abilities to the, to the fullest, but... 
Let's go attack this guy, because we have a dwarf with an axe. I don't know much things that are more terrifying. Actually, oh yeah, this is the same uh, troll f or orc person from before. So except for the mage, we have the exact same team as the one that we had before. Great. I think we I think that we are going to invest in assault rifles because this one is great, but it really doesn't give me any sort of capabilities outside of the outside of the matrix. Like it really does suck if you're not um yeah, I mean, like, yes, you're a Decker, and yes, your priority should be the Matrix. But at the same time, I do need to be able to defend myself and my teammates outside of the Matrix. I mean, what's the point in being a fantastic Decker if everybody just dies all the time, right? Alright, let's hit this guy with a slow spell. There we go. Alright, I need to go talk to this guy. Because he's... Oh, God. Why would you do this? Oh, jeez. Great, so the whole hospital is in on it. Fan-freaking-tastic. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Get me back to the... Get me back to that computer. What is that? Oh my god. I didn't even know that they made straight jackets that well, I guess in the future where there's trolls and orcs, I guess you would have to make straight jackets that big, right? I suppose so. But yeah. We need to keep our eyes out for decking terminals more often because it makes no sense to have one of the best decks in the game if I can't or I don't look for a place to use such deck. Oh god, I gotta get right up to it. Alright, well, let's have Hidden Fancy come up and scout around. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need these two, cause... You know, I'm assuming that once I get into the Matrix, it's all gonna hit the fan, and I'm not gonna be able to help them, so I'm gonna need to do this as fast as possible. And I don't have any programs! Okay, well, I'm decked in, and the only other way to go is over here. So let's do this. What? No, 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 no. No. No, I don't want to do that at all. We're gonna, fin we're gonna finish decking into the Matrix before we're doing anything. Bathroom door. What? Let's see how helpful we can be. I think we get two full, two or three full rounds in the Matrix before we're kicked out. Or, not kicked out, but before it's back to our teammates' turns. So we do this. We get a little bit closer. Come on, don't kick me out, don't kick me out. Awesome. Alright, I'm gonna open up this door, and then... Awesome. Now my other teammates can go explore into the bathroom. Why they would want to, I don't know. Uh, who's the closest teammate? This, right? Is the bathroom over here? Oh, uh, jeez, I don't remember! What is that? Oh, that's Overwatch. That is cool. That is very cool. It's kind of like a uh, Frozen Synapse sort of Overwatch, like you have to pick where you're aiming. That's cool. I like that. Okay, patient records. Uh, we're not going to be able to attack. They're going to get their rounds off, but we well, we should be fine, because these are not threatened programs by any means. Plus, we do a boatload of damage now, because we are like the god of the matrix which is always nice and we sh yep we can access the patient records let's see if we can get more proof okay 
Yeah. I mean, I'm assuming that once they're exited from the scene, that's just the basement. So, yeah, they can all leave. I'm just going to explore the rest of this place. Was it over here? Yes, it was. Okay. Okay. Good. I was going to say, that is a prime opportunity for something to just jump out and kill me. Like a troll in a straitjacket. Which I would not want to fight. Okay, so they're both gone. Yeah, there's nothing in here. Oh, cool. Concussion grenade. Okay. So, we'll just bring this guy over here. We'll move our dwarf around the side. Um... Yeah. I don't know. I think the ne I think the next the next time that we make a team, we're not gonna bring um, a fourth person. Like we're only we're not gonna bring half Sky. Ah, eh, no, because there's no point in not bringing someone that's free. Like I was gonna say, just pay for two people, but there's no point in not bringing Shannon if we're just bringing. Uh, two people that we're paying for because she's free anyway, so it's like why not? I mean she can't level up in her abilities. Oh God, this is I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like it at all. I Don't like mental hospitals there you people are getting a little bit more insight about my life. I Who opened the cells? I mean, I've played enough, like, <laughs> I've, I, oh yeah, um, I also hate horror games. I've played enough of very few horror games to know that violent crazies are, like, the worst crazies. Well, yeah, because they're crazy and stuff, but shut up. Nobody asked you. Will this guy attack us? Or, yeah, yes he will. I really don't want to. Like, it, it just kind of seems wrong. Like, I don't know, maybe I could use them somehow, but I guess not. That's fine. That's why we have a dwarf. Yeah, alright, so we'll move him. Oh, jeez. You don't understand, do you? This is a place for broken things. Maybe we were made, and we must break you. Oh, great. He wants to make me into a crazy. Fantastic. Alright. Well, we have a dwarf with an axe, and a giant troll with a shotgun, so I'm really not concerned about anybody killing us. But now that I said that, we're probably going to get, you know, gang mobbed by somebody. Something. Oh, fantastic. Always nice to have a dwarf with an axe that can't hit the broadside of a barn with said axe. Alright, come on. Yeah, I think I'm I think we're definitely going to invest points in assault rifles because I hate not I hate only being able to use single shot because it's not always as effective as it should be. And quite frankly, I mean, I could invest in shotguns, but I'm probably not going to be far away from people. And I'm also, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to be up close and personal. I don't need a pistol. Why, why have a pistol when you can have an assault rifle? Etc. Etc. Alright. Let's get a little bit farther. Okay, I just... Who gave the crazies a gun? Eh, actually, probably the guards. Well, they didn't give the crazies a gun. Probably more like the crazies ate their face and then stole the gun. But yeah, either way. God, I love having a troll that can just do that. Just 18 damage, just every time. I love it. Right, let's go chop this guy. Actually, if anything, like, I'm really just putting them out of their misery at this point. I mean, 
they're obviously not going to survive by themselves, and they're crazy and on a murder spree, so I might as well just put them down so that way they don't hurt me or anybody else. You know, that, that, I mean, I guess that that's just me getting way too ethical about an RPG. Why is this not doing any damage? You are a dwarf with an axe that is literally one of the most terrifying things known to man. <sighs> okay, I think next time we're going to take two Street Samurais because w I'm just quickly noticing that shotguns are better than close combat in every situation unless it's you. As always, if you are the hero character, you're going to be f freaking fantastic at everything. If you choose so. I mean, I doubt any decker I could buy is going to be as powerful at decking as I am. And I doubt if I was a street samurai that anybody would be as powerful as I am. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Hopefully. Alright. Let's move up a little bit more. Okay. What is going on here? Is that a zombie? What is that? It's not the doctor, but he's wearing medical robes. Who is that? Oh, it's an ex-surgeon. Okay. Oh well. Let's kill the ex-surgeon because... Shotguns do wonders at taking down crazy people. Except, you know, when you're a dwarf who apparently just sucks at everything. Or, you know, I mean, maybe there's just something that I'm missing. Maybe I'm just stupid, but I don't know. From what I can see, melee weapons are not the way to go. Seems like every time somebody has a melee weapon in this game, it's not cool, it's not powerful, and I have a shotgun. So... I don't know. Maybe it's more of, like, what armor or what your race is. Because he seems to just chop apart uh, humans. Well, ladies and gentlemen, with that, I think that's a good spot to conclude today's episode of Gamers Theater. So, as always, thank you for watching my videos. And I'll see you next time.